where are we? Checking coordinate impact data. We have asked you to give up your family, your childhood, your future. Cortana. I'm sorry. It's the crash. I'm fine. Something was wrong even before we left the dawn. Chief? Really? I'm fine. Cortana. I was put into service eight years ago. Eight years? AIs deteriorate after seven, Chief. Halsey. Chief. We need to find Halsey. Chief, please. She made you. She can fix you. I won't recover from rampancy, Chief. If we can just get back to Earth and find Halsey, she can fix this. Don't make a girl a promise you can't keep. We need to move. Doesn't look like the Covenant fared much better than we did. How many ships made it through the roof? Plenty. Why? We still need a ride home. What on guys come out here and welcome to a new video on Halo 4. Now, um, as you see off in that cutscene, Cortana is going rampant. So that's about all we got to in this story. Anyway, really. I shall finish you off mercifully. There we go. It deserves a merciful death. He's in enough pain as it is. Um, right, so what we... So, we basically, basically crashed through um, Requiem, which is the planet we're on, although as far as Chief's concerned, he doesn't know that yet. But... Um, but yeah, we basically crashed through the planet's roof, and now we've got to find a way home. So let's get moving. I'm picking up a faint transmission on the high band. Covenant? I don't think so. The pattern's different. I'll try to triangulate its position. Oh, wow. Look at this. I can never get used. I've seen this a number of times, but this just, like, this mission, I think, was made solely for by 343 just to show the beauty of this game. Like, it's so amazing how good this game looks. You know, even for a game that is like I don't know, something like eight years old or something, it is beautiful. It's such a very nice, it's such a well made and well lit game. You know, I'm not a massive fan of the story of Halo 4. I think it's a little bit flat. But visually, this game is stunning, and I've said that I've never doubted the visual aspect of this game one bit. Oh yeah, walk. But yeah, no, this game is just, it's visually, it's stunning beyond all belief. It's amazing how good this game looks. And not just, not just that, but the music as well. The music in this game is amazing. I mean, I love Halo's music anyway, but just generally, it's amazing. Getting home could help me find a solution for my rampancy. How? Well, as far as I know, I'm the only AI ever generated from living tissue. A clone of Dr. Halsey, to be precise. It may be possible to recompile my neural net by replicating those same conditions. But that means getting back to Halsey. Soon. Ah, a covenant. On top of a covenant. Covenant, like, dig site. Okay, right, well, let's keep moving. Hope maybe they haven't spotted us yet. It's a possibility. Oh, they're going to spot us now, aren't they? Right, let's get out. Ah, Jack on the top. Get out of it. Die. Okay, I'm just going to swap. Stop this for a carbine, then I can shoot these guns down easier. Grenade. No, missed. Grenade. Got one. The other one's dead. Elite! Sticky! Yeah, nice! Is that not? Sticky grenade? No, oh, no, I missed him! I'll tell you what, something that confuses me about it, about 343's Halos is the um, language of the Covenant, right? Now, in Halo 3, the, all the Covenant pretty much started speaking English. In Halo, in Halo Combat Evolved, they were speaking, like, their general Covenant language, like Sangheili for the Elites, etc. 
Um, and this is the same in Halo Reach. Halo 2, they pretty much just randomly turned to English, which doesn't really make much sense anyway. But, um... But, um... But that, 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 they continue that trend with Halo 3, with Halo 3, they all start really speaking English. Um, we're going to have to find where they're landing first. I don't suppose you have a plan for that. We could always ask nicely. Asking's not my strong suit. But yeah, so, um, so, so yeah, in Halo... Like Halo Reach and One and Halo One, they were basically speaking the relative covenant languages. But by Halo, and the same was the in Halo Combat Evolved. But in Halo Two, they sort of randomly switched to speaking English, which didn't really make much sense to me anyway. But they kept at least they kept that through into Halo, Halo Three. But then they go back to Halo Four, and they're all speaking they sang Healy in their own respective covenant languages again. Like that doesn't really make any sense. Um, and then we get into Halo Five, and they seem to all be just speaking. We get to the Soul Sang Helios and the Covenants as well. And then we'll just speak in English again. Like, that's... <laughs> it's a bit inconsistent. It's just, I mean, for me, it's just a little bit annoying. Like, it annoys me, but... It doesn't really matter, but it's just... Like, it doesn't really make any sense, really. You know? Maybe they are bilingual. Maybe they just... Some games they choose to speak, um... Speak English, and some... Some they choose to speak very Sangheili. But, you know... Take, um... Like, I've been playing Hader Spartan Ops in my own time just recently. Um... And... The cutscenes are got some of the cutscenes got Jordan Mandama in them, right? Which is one of the small like little boss things in a cutscene in Halo 5. But in Halo 4, right, he's speaking Sangheili, right? Which is fair enough. Um it was fair enough, he's an elite, so he's obviously gonna speak Sangheili. Um but in Halo 5, right, Ben one, there's no no like recollection of the fact that he's actually learned English from anybody. But he's speaking fluent English between him, him and Dr. Halsey. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Like, maybe he's learned basic English from Halsey. Maybe you could use that as an argument. But, like, generally speaking, like, learning the entire English language from Dr. Halsey in just, like, a, man, a couple years? Like, really? No, I don't think so. <laughs> it's a bit strange. Um, these carbines. No, these are the, um, storm rifles. I don't want storm rifles. Storm rifles are stupid. Right. Trip grenade. I ain't got many the ammunition left to me. Yeah, that's got my carbine ammo gone. Oh, we've got a cloaked zealot. Grenade! Got him! No! Oh dear. Yeah, got him. Nice. Sentinels. I wondered when they'd show up. Yeah, 410 worlds, you always find sentinels. Just something that happens. <laughs> There's been a fight. There's dead covey bodies everywhere. There. Chief. A console in the back. Okay, get some ammunition your carbine. Runner shield world. Designate Requiem. Requiem? At least we know where we are now. Let's see if it can tell us what the Covenant are so interested in. Huh. What happened? I don't know. It locked up. I'm detecting power fluctuations in several locations. I'll put them up for you. What's it doing? It's all right. This energy is actually a ferroelectric data field. Your shields are just cycling in response to the chamber's charge. You're just bringing the photography back online. Partially. This type of processing system usually works in parallel. We'll have to locate its twin. Well, it's good to have already marked it for me, Katana, isn't it? Come here, Eddie. There you go, get out of it. So what I do, I do notice in um, Halo 4 is that Chief talks a lot more than he ever used to in the past Halo games. And I know that is a design choice, but with, like... And I, I suppose it's all better from a let's play perspective because you can sort of comment on what Chief and Cortana are saying to each other. However, um, what I liked about Halo, playing on your own, what I know to like about Halo 1 through 3, and Halo Reach is the same. When you're, um, taught, when you're, um, like, playing on your own, it, you play as, and it makes you feel like you're Master Chief. Because Cortana will, like, talk to you, but Chief won't reply, so you can sort of make up your own dialogue instead so i don't know yes mayday 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 you and us the ai cortana to infinity please respond no 
response. So from the strength of that signal, the infinity has to be close by. But um, but yeah, so I I'm not that I'm I'm fussed by it because again, from a let's play perspective, it, it doesn't really it's actually help more helpful if um, you know, there's a lot more dialogue because then I can actually comment on what's being said. But when you're playing on your own, it's it makes like you like to feel like you're master chief because you're like making up a story based off of what Cortana is saying. And like it's like playing the Spartan Ops. Like Spartan Ops is a bit boring because to record because there's literally no dialogue. You're literally just there shooting the Covenant. But you can sort of make your uh, make up your own stories um, within the game because of you know your your nobody's sort of saying what saying things aside from what you want to say. So it's a bit complicated. But that's just that's why I like. But again, I'm not I'm not against it. It's just something. It's just a bit different. The cartographer keeps acting like the transmission is coming from everywhere on the planet at once. It doesn't want to triangulate Infinity's signal. Oh wait. I got it. That can't be right. Scan again. We've already passed through one layer of the planet's surface. It's not crazy to think that someone else made it deeper inside than we did. You mean the planet's hollow? Let me see if I can figure out a way to reach these coordinates that doesn't involve us digging a really big hole. There's a terminus on the far side of the complex. We can portal to the planet's core from there. What? I don't know. If we have a shot at getting you back to infinity, we're taking it. to that terminus and find infinity what do you know about infinity not much so it's supposed to be massive but the project is only a prototype in chief the covenant net's going crazy they're ordering all units to converge on the tower i guess we got their attention you can say that chief i think we do have their attention oh yeah i think we have got their attention <laughs> Right, come on. There we go. I'm just gonna take this. No, 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 no. I want the carbine. Right. This part of my life. We'll get this ghost. I want this ghost. There you go. Thank you. I'll have this. We're about to have our hands full. The elites just issued a general order. They're moving all ground teams to secure the tower entrance above us. Oh, that's not good. Oh, God, this part of me. Alright, I may as well just turn my active camera off then. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Edge sword, edge sword, edge sword. No, no, no. Get away. I shot you in the head. Die. There we go. Okay, I got much ammunition in this thing. Um, I'm actually going to swap this for this, so I've got a bit of a fighting chance still. And more grunts around here. And some jackals. Get out of it. Die. Die. There we go. Uh, so let's just pick up Cosmic Bolt. Yeah, come here. Oh, he had a carbine on him. Right, that's fine. Oh, no. Get out of it. Die. Carbine. Thank you. Go away. Jackal. Jackal. Sniper. Oh yes, look at that headshot. Not a direct, it didn't look like a direct headshot, but there we are. I got him. Storm rifles. God damn it. Come on. Headshots. Energy sword. Elite. Die. Right, there we go. Begging the hand, then, aren't we? I have energy sword. Also have grenades. There we go, he's gone. Okay, I used up all my energy. Whoop! Sticky bomb. The armor gone. 
Oh, he's nearly gone as well, but not quite. Come on. There we go. Nice. Got him. While you were busy, I managed to clear up another transmission from Infinity. Sounded like he said artifact. I wonder if it's related to whatever the Covenant are. Might be. Where's the terminus? The map placed it at the top of the tower. Cathedral, this terminus is just one node of a larger transit grid that spans the entire planet. What? When I tried to access the outlet closest to Infinity's transmissions, the system responded with this. What is it? That's the kicker. It's the forerunner symbol for Reclaimer. Humanity. That's got to be Infinity. Can you get us to those coordinates? Let me try to open a portal. Cortana. I'm picking up unknown energy signatures. Where? This can't be right. Set a waypoint out of the tower. Cortana. How did... Quick! Into the portal! Chief, go! Alright guys, so that's all we have time for in this um, Let's Me video here. I think these missions are going to have to be one mission per video because they are so long. If I do come across one that is a bit shorter, then I will try and incorporate it in. But normally, judging by the way that this is going at the moment, I'm going to have might have like one short one and then like a 20 minute one afterwards. So that's going to be a bit of a nuisance to edit. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, so anyway, that is all we have time for in this um, Let's Me video here. I'd like to thank you all very much. If you did enjoy, don't forget to smash that like button and hit the subscribe button for more awesome gaming content. And I shall see you all later. Bye!